Alrighty everyone, welcome to another episode here of the FM23 Young Boy series here on the channels. We try to win the Champions League with a squad of 21 year old kids and under as uh, for this matchup though against Real Madrid. Boy, oh boy, as uh, of course our uh, last encounter we saw kicking off the league phase of this year as far as it was against Ajax, which we lost 1-3. Uh, we actually have done pretty well since then. We uh, lost to Basel, but we uh, beat RB uh, uh, Red Bulls uh, Salzburg, and uh, it was a 1-0 victory too, which was uh, kind of crazy to think that we shut down a team like that. I mean, they're a pretty good team. You know, Salzburg are definitely one of the you know, top teams in Europe, so that's a big feather in the cap, however, though. Then we played PSV, uh, Cody, Gar uh, Cody Gakpo, and Mr. Wakehorse himself uh, were just too much for us. Couldn't stop them. Funny enough, we lost the Grasshoppers. Um, yeah, that was a weird game to, to drop to them. We were the... I thought we were going to be the much better team. Uh, but uh, we just played like shit. For... Uh, well, we had a goal right in the first minute. And then it was just downhill ever since. We couldn't get a goal in the second half. And yeah, it was an, an unfortunate loss. But then we kicked the shit out of Basel in the uh, third round of the Swizer Cup. So at least we have that going for us. So we got a win back over Basel. Uh, this may, uh, the, I mean, the Real Madrid game is going to be huge. I mean, it's... I can't believe, first of all, that it's even on the... Uh, as far as the... With the betting line. I don't know how. Uh, you know, we're, we're going to go with this little... Uh, the con Conciero, as far as... Uh, Consenseo is, uh, oh my god, I've, that is definitely not a chance that I completely butchered that. Nonetheless, uh, it's going to be a little different than what we usually run. Usually we run a back five. It's still going to be a five, but it's going to be with wing backs instead. They'll help give us a little bit of um, room to work with. It went really well when we played um, against Red Bull uh, Salzburg when we ran this. Uh, the plan is start off with this and see how it goes. If we need some offense on our way, we'll go with the 3-2-5, which probably won't do because we'll probably get killed doing that. Not like this other 3-2-5 is any better. It's just a tiki-taka approach. It just will slow the game down and let us get some room to really work with. The big thing for us is they're a counterattacking team. So... If we can make sure that they do the least amount they can do with that counter-attacking approach, the better it will be. Of course, we're taking on Jose Mourinho as he's back with Real Madrid, which I believe he was back for, uh, with them the last time we played him, too. Uh, which did not go well, if I remember correctly. I believe we got shellacking. Yes, 6-0 uh, defeat. <laughs> so hopefully it goes a little bit better this time around. It is going to be a snowy affair. But we will be at home, at least. Oh, well, so they want us to actually go with a cautious approach. I don't hate that, to be honest. Yeah, let's give it a shot. Yeah, we'll go with this. As yeah, Camavinia, of course. In the middle, he's going to be a problem. As long as we kind of keep uh, Bodo out of it, or Bodo, Bodo Pedo <laughs> out of it, we should be all right, honestly. It, it shouldn't be... You know, last time we lost six... 6-0. I don't think that's going to happen. I think we're a much better team than we were then. City game's going to be crazy, though. This is what we're going with, though, as far as our lineup. Uh, Lionel's actually playing really well. He's now one of our best players. Honest is still out here as a wingback. Uh, Herman has been playing pretty well. Uh, we could have him be on support or attack, and he'd be 3.5, which that doesn't really matter for the role ability, but he's he's been playing... Uh, pretty well. You just kind of a couple of games so far. He's he's not had the greatest outings, unfortunately. Uh, David just got hurt uh, this week in training, so we uh, we won't have him out there, which we would have needed his size for sure. Because now Sanel's out there, which he's six five two, but he's kind of getting worse over time. I think it's just because he really hasn't played a whole lot either, too. But uh, yeah, this is what we're gonna run with a lot of defense. Some support, basically, in the middle. Um, we'll have Michael be our deep-lying playmaker in the middle as well. I'm just trying to make sure these guys are pretty much locked and loaded. Uh, Daniel Dimitriov is going to be the man up front. Between him and Samuel, I feel like it's a good one, too. Uh, Samuel is, uh, you know, they're about the same as far as finishing and scoring-wise. Daniel, or Daniel, Daniel 
is uh, a better crosser, a little bit better speed. Yeah, but they're neck and neck pretty much. And uh, Osmani is out there as well as our Verde winger, who is actually a really good crosser as well. We could probably have him actually just be like a uh, advanced playmaker, even an inside forward or something like that. But I think we're just going to stick with what we got going on with him being an inverted winger. And yeah, uh, the familiarity is a little better than what it usually is with this. And the intensity is obviously a lot lower. But uh, we could obviously change that, turn that up, turn it down if we need to. To really uh, kick it into high gear if we need to against this Real Madrid team. But again... We just try to make sure that we don't invite a lot of pressure off the counter. That's kind of our big thing here. Make sure they're taking a lot of low percentile chances. Make sure they don't get in the box or anything like that, because that way we don't foul them, that way we don't give up penalties, and that's just kind of the whole idea for this game. That's the plan, at least. We'll see, but it's a snowy affair, so we just got to hope... That uh, we're kind of locked and loaded. The atmosphere is good, but we just don't really have a lot of leadership right now. Mainly because our leaders are just getting older and they're not really being able to do a whole lot out there right now. Yeah, this little back five, I hope it works. Hope it works. It's weird, because they don't really have that good of a team on paper compared to some of these other teams in the Champions League. Like, on paper, they're better than us, but I don't think it's that much of a big difference, honestly. They aren't giving us too much credit. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see, especially the team that won the Champions League last year. I just don't feel like this is the same team that won that Champions League. But when you have the best keeper in the world, it's easy to make that accomplishment. Now we're starting off with the ball. I probably should have saw that coming since we're the home team. Let's see what we got, though. First uh, go around here. That's a great ball, actually. Paredes. Bad pass. <laughs> Nobody home. That was uh, that was not the smartest of passes. Oh, but Ana's going to keep it on this side of the pitch. What in the world? Dribbling. Nobody home now. And just kick it back. And back out wide. Oh, going through the Lionel. Is he on? If he's on, this might go in. Holy shit, it goes in. I think he's off, though. Yeah, I see the flag is being raised. He's definitely off. They're going to look for VAR, though. I think he's off. I think Lionel's just a tad bit off sides there. Yeah. Boy, what a start, though. Get a goal attempt in the first minute? The fact that we even got that close, but yeah, Lionel way off. Also, not even Lionel that being off. It's, oh my, I didn't even realize Dimitrioff was that far off sides. I thought it was Lionel that was the one that was offsides. Shows how much I was paying attention. Uh, but yeah, what a great start. Ah, well, now they're on this side of the pitch. Gusto, throw in. See if we can make sure we make it tough on them at least. Oh no. I don't like this. A great block though. Oh, he's offsides anyways. Perfect. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, defense. He was close though. That was. That could have at least looked at a uh, VAR decision. Yeah, well, I mean, so far, so good. First 10 minutes, oh, we get a corner. Oh, no, it, is it a corner? It looks like it, no, it's definitely a corner. I was thinking it was like a free kick from way out there, from the way it's lined up, but... No, it definitely wasn't. Kamavinia, though, with the header. Kuhn? Deflected, damn. I thought for a second it was going to be a hell of a strike. Oh, court sending it. Yeah, we got the, the the numbers though. Man, we're keeping it pretty, pretty good right now. I think cautious is kind of the way because Dmitriev with a counter strike potentially. That's a terrible shot. Damn, we're out countering uh, Real Madrid right now. At least for the first ten minutes. Damn, damn, damn. The momentum's not looking good for us, but I say we're playing just as well, if not uh, on par, with uh, Real Madrid. Being the home team, I think, is helping us out a lot, though. Here we go. Send it deep down the pitch. Header from Dimitriov. Nope. Oh, nice. Albertini to Osmani. Osmani with a good pass, potentially. 
Oh, nice. I'm liking the dribbling out wide. Just before he got it out of bounds, uh, Kuhn's header goes over the bar. Listen. We're showing like a team that is ready to win this fucking game. Where we have a higher XG. Average ratings dead even right now. They've completed a little bit more passes. Uh, we've definitely not won as many headers as them. I think it's really been the big difference. Uh, free kick. Okay, blocked it. Thank God. So I think our defense is going to be really, really solid with this. You know, we have so many defenders out there. A lot of size out there. So far, so good. We're playing really, really well. I feel like, at least, we're, we're playing really well. Free kick. Off the corner. Not happening. Not right. Honest. Gonna snag that down, potentially. He's got some speed, too, out wide. For this one. As far as, obviously, being his wingback self. As, uh... Leipzig. The Red Bull side is up 1-0. It's all, uh... United scored over... The, uh... The Celtics, as far as, well, I guess, just Celtic. <laughs> uh, let's see what... Oh, so, Kamara. Sending it out wide, yep. To Gusto. Gusto's probably going to be their main guy. If I had to guess, he had to swing it to Camavinia. Oh, damn, I thought we were going to get a tackle there. That would have been huge. Terrible shot, though. He's, yeah, I don't know what that was all about. That's exactly what we need from that Real Madrid team, though, to keep it out of uh, being an on-target shot. We're taking much better shots than Real Madrid are, personally. Actually, what the fuck happened there? I don't remember them taking that shot that close. Oh, God, there's another one. Herman, though, with a, looks like a goal kick. Sending it. I don't like that. We're not going to maintain possession now. Gusto, snagging it down. 30 minutes in, no goal yet for either team, so it's looking like a pretty good game from us, at least. And that's not bad, speaking of how we lost to a team that fucking got destroyed by them. Uh, we might have a chance here. Good ball over the middle might make this work. Oh, Lionel. Through the middle. Ah, he had the pass. He had it. He was selfish, though. Took the shot. Completely missed, but man, we're, we're playing really well. We're, I think we've had the better first half. I know it doesn't look like it from a momentum standpoint, but from our shot selection, they've all been in the box. Uh, defensively, we've looked really good. We haven't really given up any like crazy shots or anything. I'm seeing a lot of these shots that I'm a little scared about, but they just keep on being off target. I don't know what what's the deal with uh, the Madrid side. It's looking good, though. It's looking good. I think... I think we're going to roll the dice. Here in the second half. Because from the looks of it... We played really, really well. Really, really well. The only difference is... Is we need... Just a little bit more help. And with that little bit more help, I think it's going to come from... A change of tactic. I think we're going to go with that gagan press. I'm going to go with a 3-5-2. Uh, 3-2-5, rather. But it will not actually be a 3-2-5. We're just going to have a 1 forward up front. And Pertz is one of the worst guys out there right now. So, honestly, I think what we're going to do... Where's Pertz at? Here he is. He will have him be here. So it's technically now going to be a 3-3-3-1. Very, very weird, but... It's, uh, I think it's going to work out for what we're wanting to do. First of all, uh, we need a better guy in the middle, which will probably be... Com uh, man, Sablet's really good, though, in the middle. He could help us out a lot, actually. Uh, let's see. So we got a central midfielder, deep-line playmaker, roll. I think we're going to go with the deep-line playmaker. We're going to switch this around, so Anas is the roaming playmaker. Ball-winning midfielder from Michael... Albertini. Honestly, Dimitriov, even though he had the one goal, it didn't count, though, obviously. But I think we need some size. That's when Samuel is going to come in. He's a little bit bigger, 6'2". Uh, the same amount of finishing and whatnot that you guys saw. And, yeah, I just think... Uh, and also, have him be a pressing forward. So that way, we can always show a little bit of umph out there. 
for the most part. Actually, let's have Sablet be in the middle. Let's have Camillo be up here. Camillo can be the ball-winning midfielder up here as well. So we're going to have two ball-winning midfielders, one on support, one on defense. And then have the roaming playmaker in Honest. In a perfect world, Honest would be where Camillo is. But he can't play as a midfielder, so we're just going to stick with what we got right now. Pretty good start, though. Pretty, pretty good start. Uh, defensively, I think we're going to have Sanelmi in the middle. Vladimir. Niara is going to be a... Well, here's the thing with him. He's solid. He's actually really, really good, especially from his standpoint of where, what he likes to do. He's just a little smaller than what we like to have right now, because I think we just need some size to really combat them right now. So we might, because Roberto's pretty big. You know, Roberto's all of 6'5". Oh, man, that's tough. It's a tough decision. Part of me wants to have them play out wide now. I'm thinking about it. The problem is we don't have a wing back on that can play on the right. Because, well, well, we actually do. Oh, I think about it. So yeah, we're gonna have Honest go here. Michael now, unfortunately, is gonna have to play here. Yeah, we can do this. It's a little different. It's a little different. We're having beyond defense now. So yeah, we're kind of all over the place right now. But we're, we're making it work. We're rocking and rolling. Yeah, if Honest be on defense. Alright. Well, four subs already. Not a uh, crazy start. I think we need to be on cautious still. That way, in case something bad happens. Mentality is not there, but everything else is pretty solid. At least. A lot of changes here in this second half. A lot, a lot of changes. Might be a risk, but... It's a risk I'm willing to take because I think we wore that team out in that first half. I think, at least. So we'll see. See if I am correct on that. And we still have one more sub, so something can happen. And here we go. We're already making plays that I want to see, creating defense into potential offense. That's kind of what we need to do. Because they're looking to make our mistakes into offense. Might as well try to do the same thing to them. Worst case scenario, you know, as far as we get a late goal here. But so far, it's looking like we're the better team here in the second half, at least from a momentum standpoint. Still very, very early. PSG beating the shit out of Frankfurt. I get a goal kick. Uh, average positioning's damn near identical as well. Actually, I think it is. We might be just a slight, like, inch or two below them on uh, our back line. I don't like that our back line's so close together, especially with, um, as far as uh, Baldrich and then... Our former defender on that side, but that's all right. Yeah, they are, and Patrick are just kind of side by side right now. But also, they he did play in the middle, so maybe that's why too. That's all fucked up. Gusto. Yeah, they just seem to really like playing out of Gusto, which is fine. Makes sense. If he swings it in here, though, this might be difficult. But work should be there to block it. Thank God, Beto didn't take it. Uh, right in front of the net. Luckily, it was to the side. Not looking good. Not looking good. The momentum is still on their side. Again, though, it's tie game. 65 minutes in. Finally, they get a shot on target, though. That's not a good sign. Here we go. Loop. Good ball here, potentially. And don't make a bad pass. That's kind of the big thing that I'm worried about right now. We're kind of playing through the back, and I don't think we need to be doing that, actually. I think the plan should be, at least... Oh, hold on. Something's going on, maybe, potentially, because I feel like we're in the final third of the pitch. Oh, we definitely are. Here comes the cross. Damn. Samuel with a great save. Or, with a great save. With a great header. Can't make, you know, court. Court's going to be tough to beat. It just, we, we knew that going into this, though. Man, it sucks. It's, I kind of... Camillo is, is alright right now. It's just I think he needs... Kind of... I don't know, should we switch him and Sablet? Actually, let's have it be a... Let's 
bring him back a little bit. Let's have him be a DM. I think that's going to help us out a lot. His passing's all right. We just need a little bit more out there, I think. Right now. Oh, God. Speaking of... Oh, did they score? Oh, God. <laughs> Something happened, I think. I don't know. I know. I think it just fucked up because we were in the... Page you're looking at. Honest has covered a lot of ground, though. Yeah, these guys are going to be working hard today. That is for sure. I think Lupu's going to have to come off, though, unfortunately. Yeah, I mean, we, uh... We squeaked one out against Madrid, it's looking like, at least. We'll take the uh, one point. We need it. You know, we got that win already. But to get a draw out of Madrid, that is progress. Absolutely. Absolutely. A possession time, percentage-wise, not really time necessarily, but possession uh, percentile, 38%. Not great, but we... We're a pretty hard team to beat. Tackling-wise, 12 out of 15, damn near right angle to them. We actually had a better percentage. Pass completion, we dropped theirs down. Usually they're around a 90 percentile team. Right now it's at 86. Headers won, 41% to 56. That's not bad. We, uh, I mean, listen, we had a goal. You know, on the board, it just was taken away uh, from, from the offsides. But other than that, man, we've played pretty good. We, we played pretty well, and now they're changing to 5 2 one, two, I believe. It went so fast, I didn't even kind of see all of it. Oh, we got a corner from Madrid. Come on, clear it. Off the line. We got it, boys. We got the size, I think, at least for Padrich and Roberto out there. Camilla's kind of big, but I don't know. Oh, it's coming. Oh, there we go. Samuel! With a clearance, but it's going right back to him. Oh, out of the box. Don't let him get in it. Oh, shit. Oh, what a terrible pass. Thank God. Roberto blocks the pass, and again, we clear it, but they are going to try and get it back in the box. Danilo. Terrible shot. What the fuck is he thinking? That gets blocked. And that's going to be a goal kick. Wow. 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 Look at us go. Oh, we, we, let's see what's... Oh, man, if we blow it here at the end, I'm going to be just devastated. Just devastated. Oh, boy. Oh, here we go! One-on-one -on -one for Samuel. Potentially. Get out of here, court off! Fuck it! That's what the best keeper in the world can do. He can make those saves. A one-on-one -on -one like that. Not a lot of keepers are going to save that. Damn, that would have been crazy to steal one at the very end over Madrid, but... At least we'll have some solace knowing that we were the better team for 90 minutes. That that makes me feel pretty great. A team that won this Champions League last year. I think the home advantage helped us out a lot. I think the weather helped us out a lot, too. Oh, God. No, oh, that's a foul. Just be a yellow. Or don't even give us a card, to be honest. We, we played pretty clean, relatively. Only one card the whole game, actually. Yeah, we have the higher XG now with that. Yeah, I mean, I think we had a lot of bright spots today. Oh, no, they get one at the end. We get a throw in, but that's we'll probably game once we throw it in. Oh, wow, they're going to let us play. Oh, no, <laughs> it's over. Damn. Well, what a, what if, I mean, this is a, a win for us, I would say. To get a draw against Madrid. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, they went, um, it's kind of funny. They kind of copied what we were doing there towards the uh, end of the game. They switched to the back five. But they, of course, only had the, the... They had two DMs when we had just the one. And they had the two fours, so they're kind of playing out wide. I think they got scared of us, to be honest. I really do. Harman with a clean sheet. Just, uh, they had the best keeper in the world. Nothing more you can really say there. And, uh... Camavinia, of course, you know, was the best guy on the pitch. Which is no surprise. Actually, Gusto was the best guy. With his clear-cut uh, chance created there. But Lionel, man, he was our best guy for sure. For sure. Not really sure how our subs did. Uh, compared to, Well, actually, compared to a lot of them, they played pretty well. They, they outplayed their uh, replacement. Pretty much all of them did. So that, that's a good sign. But yeah, 
Uh, we were going to be under a lot of pressure. We kind of knew that going into this game. They were a very, very good team. But uh, our game plan worked out almost to perfection. You know, wear them out in the first half, come in the second half and try to get one over them with uh, our speed. Maybe we could have held on maybe a little bit longer. Potentially, right? Could have potentially switched it around the 55th, 60th minute instead. But we went with what I thought was going to work. And uh, it was a good idea, I think, in theory. We fouled them a lot, which is probably why this game is so close. And yeah, I mean, this is uh, this is what we needed. This is what we needed. A hell of a game. Hell of a game from the boys. Especially the boys up front. Our back line did a really, really good job. Yeah. We should be very, very happy with that performance. Awesome stuff. Alrighty, so the next time you'll be seeing us will be the game against Manchester United. <laughs> as, uh, we get to play my club. as uh, That's going to be fun. To, to see how we do against them. We, of course, played them already in the friendly, which we won. That was cool. Obviously, that was a friendly, so, you know, you don't want to put too much solace into that, but I think we can play them just about as well as we could play it against anybody else. I don't think they're a top team in Europe right now. I think they're good, obviously. I think they're, like, a probably top 20 team in Europe, but I think we're better than them, honestly. I, I think if we put our best 11 out there, I guess they're 11. I think we're the better team. I, I really do think that, especially with this game against Real Madrid. I don't think they're going to get a draw against Madrid, you know? And now it's going to process forever. I hope it works, at least. I'm just glad we didn't have any ghosts like we did in the previous uh, episode here. Well, I guess that was a different series, but uh, yeah, oh, PSG beating the shit out of Frankfurt. Oh, my God. Bruno had almost a hat trick. Rashford had a goal. Boy, oh, boy. Yeah, but they're 17th, you know. It's crazy though, Madrid. So yeah, I mean, negative one on the goal difference. We're still a negative four. If we have a big game though, you know, we have. Uh, I'm trying to think who we have upcoming that we could probably beat down. We could probably beat down Wolfsburg, to be honest. They're one of the worst teams so far. Weird, just just weird, weird, weird. Yeah. I think uh, I think we got a good chance though. That draw really changes things. Because we're just on the outside, like, looking in as far as the top 20 teams. Again, we just need to get into the top 16. That's the goal. That's the plan. If we get there, we'll be fine. I think we can get there, though. I really do. Uh, we have a pretty good chance, at least. Wow, Dynamo kept it close with Barcelona. Uh, Ajax and Salzburg draw, so that's kind of... Uh, I think that Ajax game is just kind of a weird one for us. PSV game, though, yeah, they're they're pretty good. They drew with Man City. That makes sense. PSV is a lot better than where they're ranked right now. They kind of had their way with us. And w that was not the case when we played against Madrid. And I think we were home for that game, too. So that's just kind of weird how that played out. But yeah, yeah, the Wolfsburg game is coming up. So that's a good sign. Get that game. with Get those three points. Hey, we almost made a million dollars off the draw, too. So that's great. That kind of makes sense that Salzburg would like a new deal. He's been pretty great, to be honest. That that's fine. That that's a that's a solid deal. Solid deal. And he's eighteen years old too. Oh god. What you thinking? All right, that's that's fine. Yeah, but that'll work. <laughs> Whatever you want. <laughs> we're we're really uh in no. Uh, we have so much money. We can kind of do whatever we want as far as keeping talent. Aboard, but it's nice to have somebody that wants to stay. That's actually a Swiss-born talent. But yeah, as, as you can see, uh, Zion's given us probably the toughest game. Actually, not even. We we uh, we beat them 1-3. to three. Tough, uh, You know, we beat Basel again after we lost to him in the regular season. That Grasshopper game was weird, but that's besides the point. Uh, but yeah, as far as uh, the actual schedule itself, yeah, we'll probably be the city, or the city game. We'll be United... And uh, Mauricio Dortmund, which, again, funny enough, we played friendlies against those two teams. And we beat them both times. Oh, uh, of course, they were home for those games. At least we're going to be home against United. Kind of wish we were going to Old Trafford, but that's all right. Just for the sake of going to Old Trafford. But, um, yeah, this is uh, our first draw in a while, too. We've only had uh, one during the regular season. So, we we're going to do for a draw. That is, uh, that's for sure. Yeah, the PSV game, we were home for that game. Got the shit beat out of us. But yeah, that's, uh, that's the plans as far as for the Young Boys series here. So we'll catch you guys next time. Take care, everyone.